Welcome back Linux enthusiast whether you are a beginner or looking to refresh your skills today's video is packed with invaluable knowledge we are diving into 50 linux commands that are absolute must knows for anyone using this powerful operating system so let's get started just a quick info for you if you want to upskill yourself master cyber security skills and land your dream job or grow in your career then you must explore simply learn's cohort of various cyber security programs Simply Learn offers various certification and postgraduate programs in collaboration with some of the world's leading universities like MIT, IIT Kanpur, EC Council and many more. Through our courses you will gain knowledge and work ready expertise in skills like advanced hacking concepts, network packet analysis, ethical hacking, network security and over a dozen others. And that's not all. You also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts working in top tier product and security companies. and academicians from top universities after completing these courses thousands of learners have transitioned into cyber security role as a fresher or move on to higher paying job and profile if you are passionate about making your career in this field then make sure to check out the link in the pin comment and description box to find a cyber security program that fits your experience and areas of interest so now let's get started and the first thing we have to do is open the terminal so we will just press control alt p and here is a terminal and we'll get started with the commands now so the first command we'll see here is ls so what does ls do it lists all the files and directories in the current directory so as you can see we are on the home screen only so it has listed all them that is desktop documents downloads music pictures public snap templates and videos as you could see Uh, so this is the home screen and these are the directories that are listed in the home and that this ls command has provided all the directories here and i am running the ubuntu on the virtual box for your information so if you have the ubuntu installed on your system so it's well and good and i was using windows so i used the virtual box to install the ubuntu and here we are running all the commands and if we use ls minus al so it will give all the hidden directories also hidden stuff so these are the hidden stuff that was there so it has listed them also so now we move on to the next command that would be pwd and what does the pwd command do it prints the current working directory where we are working so pwd so we are at home abhisar uja so this is our current working directory and now we'll see the next command that is cd and what does it does is change the directory if you want to move to any directory you can just write cd and the name of the directory and we'll see which one will go to documents we'll just write documents and press enter so now we are in the documents directory and with the command cd dot dot we'll jump back to the previous directory That is cd space dot dot. Oh, sorry. Now you have been redirected to the previous directory. That is home only. And if you want to just get back to home, you can just write cd space and click on. You will get back to the home. As we are already on the home, so we have not changed any directory. And the next command would be mkdir. That is to create a new directory. So for that, we will just write. mkdir and the name of the new directory what you want to create so i will create the new directory with the name abhisar so we have created the new directory you can check here that abhisar that has been created and if you want to remove that directory you just have to use the command rmdir space abhisar and press enter and that directory would be removed from there that has been removed and now we'll see the command to create a file and this is the easiest way to create any file so we'll just use the touch command that is to create a file and after touch you just have to write the name of the file so i'll write abhisar.txt so we'll see so the txt file has been created here so here we have cleared the terminal and now we'll see another command to create a file that is cat so just write cat greater than symbol and the name of the file that would be abhisar2.txt 
txt okay and press enter and now you can write the content you want to insert in this file so i'll write my name is avishar and today i am creating a video on linux okay and after writing this you just have to press ctrl and d so this will be inserted into your file so after pressing the ctrl plus d this content has been inserted so we can just check it you can see here that the content is already been inserted in the file okay so moving back now we will see the next command that is echo and echo is mainly used to get something to display in the terminal only or you just want to talk to yourself you can use the echo command so here I will write echo in inverted commas I will write simply learn and press enter you could see that it has returned simply learn so it get packs the text or anything you want to display on the terminal only and now we will see another command that is cp and that is used to copy files or directories so here we'll use the command cp and here we'll copy a file that is uh, abisar2.txt into documents so for that we'll write cp after that the name of the file that is abisar2.txt and then the folder name that was documents and then enter now we'll check in the documents we have the abisar2.txt file and that has been copied into that and the next command is mv so if you want to move any file into any directory you just write mv and we have the file that is avhasr.txt this file we will also move into documents so we'll just write the name of the file that is abisar.txt txt and dot txt and the name of the directory in which you want to move it so that is documents slash and then enter and now we'll check it so you can see that it has been moved so it has been moved from home to documents and now uh, we'll see another command that is rm that is to remove any file or directories so from the documents only will remove the file abisar2.txt okay so here we'll write rm abisar2.txt and from where you want to remove it that is documents okay uh can we it's a directory okay so we'll just write this command okay, we are in the home so first we'll move to documents sorry cd documents and here we will remove the file that is rm abisar2.txt and now if we see that has been removed from here and now we'll see another command that is nano and that is also used to create a file or if you have the exact file what file name you will enter here if it's there it will open that or else it will create a new file so we'll write abisar3.txt enter and here you can directly like edit the file or you could just write the file so you could edit it here and write anything that is we are learning linux and to save it we will just press ctrl x y and then enter so it has been saved we are learning linux so this is also the mode to create a file and you would just go with the editor directly and you could just enter in the file and then to save it you just have to press ctrl x y and enter and now uh, the next command that is shred command if you want to hide something or you won't don't want to show any content in a file 
to anyone so you will just write or use the shred command that is shred and after that file name that is that is file name so we sar 3 dot txt and press enter and we'll use cat to open that that is so we sar 3 dot txt and press enter you can see that it won't show any content to anyone so after that we'll see another command that is htop and what does it do is uh, like it's not found here and it's not installed so if you want to install it you could just write this command that is sudo install h top and press enter and now it's asking for password and now moving on to the next command we'll get another window for that close these windows close this terminal and in this terminal we'll use the command less and this command is used to view the contents interactively of the file so we'll use less and see the contents of abyssal.txt press enter so you could see that the contents are i am abyssal and you could see that the content is i am abyssal and now we will see another command and for that we'll create a new window and close the previous terminals and in the new terminal we'll use the grep command that is used to search for specific patterns or words within the within the files so grep and then the special term that is abyssar will search and then the file name that is abyssar.txt and press enter so it will return the full sentence in which that pattern is found that is i am abyssar and you could see in the file that we have abyssar text and that is in the line i am abyssar and it has returned us that and when we go to the next one we'll use the find command and with the find command you could search for various files or directories based on a given criteria so we'll find the abyssar.txt file here and like it has returned that we are in the documents only and it has returned the abyssar.txt file so this was about the find command and moving on to the next command that is to change file access permissions and that command is chmod so missing opponent uh, so we have to add the opponent also that is chmod and we will write 755 and the name of the file that is abyssar.txt and press enter so the permissions of the file have been changed here and what does this indicate so we have set the file permissions of abyssar.txt file to read write and execute for the owner and read and execute for others here and if you want to change the ownership of the file we will cut time and now moving to the next terminal and here we will use the command gzip that is to compress the files so gzip and then the name of the file that is abyssar.txt and press enter so it has been compressed you could see that it has been compressed and to uncompress or decompress the compressed files we will just write the command gunzip and then the name of the file that is abyssar.txt and it has been compressed so the extension has been changed dot gz and now if you see that has been decompressed so now we will use another command and now we will see another command that is date so we will just write date and you put see that the date has been printed 
and then we have command who am I and it will just showcase the current username that is Abhisaroja and the next command is which and that is to locate a program or command in the system path you could just write history to get all the commands that you have executed in today's terminal and this another command that is uptime so what does it indicate is it displays system uptime and load average so system has been up from which time or how much time so that is uptime and then there is another command that is df that is to display disk space usage and then we have another command du that is to display disk usage by file or directory so this directory has been using 12 memories and the next command is u name so u name is used to check the complete os information of the system so we are using linux here so it has provided linux over here and now moving on to the next command that is clear command if we use the clear command so all the things in the terminal would be cleared so the next command is man command the man command displays a user manual for any commands or utilities available in the terminal so we'll just write man ls and so these are the commands that are present in the terminal including their name description and options and now moving on to the next command that is we will use the wget command to help me download the files from the internet so for that if i want to download a youtube video just open the firefox browser so we'll just copy the url from here and get back to a terminal and use the command wget and paste the url here and press enter so you could see that it has downloaded the file for us and there's another and we will open a new terminal for the command that is shutdown command and for that you would just route repeat for that you will just write shutdown space and now and press enter and the system will be shut down now only or you could just write shut down and the exact time at which time you want to shut down the system so it will shut down at that point so these were the commands for the linux and that's a wrap on a top 50 linux commands remember the best way to learn is by doing so open up your terminal and start experimenting if you found this video helpful please like subscribe and share it with your fellow linux users and drop a comment below on what Linux topics you would like to us cover next. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.